Hey ladies, how you doing? So yes, your girl had to get some makeup. I have not been makeup shopping in a long time. The last purchase that I've made in Sephora probably has been my Kat Von D palette. I don't recall purchasing anything from Sephora in a long time. I've been in the drugstore buying things here and there, but nothing to bring you a haul about. But I do have one of those coming too. I had to get a makeup fix spring is coming you know when the seasons change you have to get new makeup you have to but after this i'm not doing no more shopping for makeup i'm gonna do some i'll shop for something else but not for makeup so i went to sephora and ulta so i just want to go ahead and just show you i'm gonna jump right in. i'm not gonna be too crazy because sephora, ulta was really really quick i just got a few things from me so I've, I've, you know I've been talking about getting a new highlighter. I tried to do the whole drugstore thing. I did find a few things from the drugstore, but I really wanted something that was more higher end and it was the same quality as my Lorox tantalizer. You guys know I love that. If I do a makeup tutorial, I'm most likely I'm going to use that because I just love the way it just reflects off my skin. It's just, it's just beautiful to me. I love it. And I love it on other women too. It just looks so pretty. But I went, jumped out the box and got the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. I'm not sure if you can see my lights be washing the box out. But the Gilded Honey. Y'all, I'm not even going to get into this. Y'all know how it looks. It looks good on a ton of skin tones. I, I briefly swatched it in the store. Oh my God. I briefly. It's so smooth look at that oh look at that it looks wet i said this is gonna be so pretty and i know it's old i know there's something else that's out right now but what's out right now is not what i want i wanted this and i i was contemplating about again i said you know maybe i could find something in the drugstore that might be just as you know dupable or something like that you know you don't always have to run when you see but um, I had to get something else. So this new line, it's not really new, but it's been floating around YouTube and all over. When I go on Ulta, I always see it. It's called Revolution. Well, you probably can't see it. Let me show it the back right here. So I got this uh, Vivid Bake Bronzer. I chose Rock On World Shade. It has tape on it. It's all taped up, but I'm sure you guys have seen it. I just want another affordable bronzer because I want to start doing, like I said, um, get back into my makeup in the workplace. And this was nine bucks. That Laura Geller was, I think, $24. But I wanted to, um, look at this. Oh, my God. This is a different. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to put it right on top. Oh, my God. Do you see it? It's right here. Oh so pretty i feel like this is just what i need I, I needed my fix i needed my fix i needed my fix and i got it okay so this is an oldie but goodie but i've never owned it i've owned uh two other but i threw them away this is the nyx jumbo pencil and milk i seen a few ladies use this on their lips like say a lip color that i have on today put it in the middle to kind of give it like a different look not like an ombre look but kind of like a more of that um you know a little reflecting look i don't know i just want to do it so i bought it but um and it's good for eyeshadow base as well so it's a, kind of a two-in-one for me so i picked this up and you ladies know you know and i'm really getting into like i want to get back into dark lips i have so many pink lips so many neutral lips i'm late on the bandwagon every time i went into Oto, even if i went into a beauty supply store that sold nyx always sold out you guys know these two dark lipsticks here one is called Transylvania and Cop Copenhagen, something like that. So I finally got these two. I think they're going to look good. I'm going to wear them in the spring as well and in the summer. I don't care about oh a winter lip. I'm going to wear it because I like it. <laughs> so, and last but not least, I'm trying to change with my eyebrows. You guys know I have a love-hate relationship with the um, Anastasia Dip Brow. I will not be purchasing it again. And I do enjoy the NYX um, pencil some days. Again, it's, it's rough for me with the eyebrows. So I wanted to try the eyebrow 
the gel eyebrow. What is this called? Eyebrow gel. So I did open it just to kind of see. I haven't played around with it yet. I will definitely come back and show you guys how I feel about it. I'll tell you guys how I feel about it. I don't know as of yet, but um, I want to try something different. I just want to get away from the actual pencil. I want to get away from the pot. I'm going to throw my pot away. It still works good, but I'm going to throw it away. And what else I want to show you guys? The next pencil, that one is going. I'm going to throw that away too as well. But yeah, that's all I got from Ulta. Ulta. I went on a late night. I mean, when I say late night, I think, was it Friday night? Yeah, it was a Friday night. I just went around 8th right before they closed. No one was in there. I was able to just browse how I wanted to, and they were all ready to help me because now it's time to close. They wanted me to go out the store. But I was able to get what I wanted. So, Sephora. I had a good time in Sephora. When did I go to Sephora? Oh, on a Thursday. I went to an event at Belk's, and the event was going on, so you know, I didn't want to stay at the event that long, so I took a little intermission and I left out for a little while and I went to Sephora and then I went back to the event. And while I was taking a break from the event, I made VIB at Sephora. <laughs> Y'all, it ain't hard to make VIB, but my thing is, I try not to spend so much money on, as they would say, hire and makeup. I do love the drugs, so I feel like when you learn how to put on makeup, you know, suitable for you, and I said suitable for myself, you know, I know some makeup products have different consistency and some feel better. And we all like to have some type of high end in our um, makeup collection or arsenal, however we want to call it. You know, but y'all, are y'all digging the new paper? I mean, I was missing the red paper. I was like, look at my red paper. But she gave me this, but it's okay. So, first. Y'all, I had to do it. I got me a beauty blender. I got this beauty blender because, and I got the nude one, because I felt like it would work better with my, you know, my skin color of foundation and, you know, my, I turn them brown anyway, so why not get a new, why not get a nude one? I didn't want to get a pink one and the black one I didn't see. It was either this or pink. And it was like 20 bucks. And I still have not used the real technique one that I purchased probably last year sometime or a year and a half ago. I still not have used it. I had this beauty sponge that I got from Ulta that I wet every now and then. Can't get the stains out. That one's hard as a brick. But everyone says, and I watched many tutorials, and who was I watching with people applying their makeup? And the way she was bouncing this freaking beauty blender off her face and... You know, I know video can kind of camouflage so much, you know, on a, a person's face. But the way it was just going, I said, Kelly, forget about it. Go get it. Because I love a brush. I, I, I purchase many brushes. I get scent brushes. But, y'all, I had to do it, so I did it. I hope I use it. I, I really do. I hope I use it. Because I, I get to the point where stuff like this, I'll hoard. I really would. I just put it in the corner. Then I went and got me a Z palette. This was 10 bucks. I don't know if this was kind of pricey or not. But I got a Sephora one. I do have some Morphe single shadows. I've never, I've used them but never used them on camera. So I figured if I put them in a little Z palette. And you know, I want to get some MAC. Even though MAC is kind of expensive. I do want to, I don't own any MAC eyeshadows. Can you believe it? I do want to get a few MAC. I do have a few Morphe. And I do want to get some Makeup Geek. And then that'll all just be in here and i'll be done with the whole pot eyeshadow so but this was cute i mean i think you can put a few in here i'm not sure how many you can get in here but, but it was cute so i got it then i wanted to try the smashbox primer water i heard so many things about it i was getting sick of it people were saying how well, ladies, for some kind of people. <laughs> but ladies, gents, everybody was just saying it really works. So I was like, you know what? I'll start out small and see how it goes. And last but not least, you guys know I am a collector. I have the first two of the chocolate bar palettes. So I had to go and get the bonbon palette. I had to. My daughter was like my youngest. She said, Mom, you got to get it. It smells like chocolate. And you have the other two. I was like, you're right. 
my own daughter enables me i tell you she doesn't like you know she thinks all the makeup that i have like around in here she thinks it's cute but she doesn't want to like put it on anything like that which is good so i'm appreciative to that my oldest daughter she cares less she's not into it but um yeah let me show you oh my god they're hot I have them upside down. Let me turn them back up for you. Oh, and when I went into the store, I looked at the other two and I said, Kelly, seriously, this stuff smells so good. You don't understand. Oh my God. I'm not even gonna swatch because you, you guys know what this is about. I will do a makeup tutorial to see how it looks on my skin. So that will be coming soon, but Y'all, let me tell you, I always say y'all, and I probably shouldn't say that. People at work, they know, they say, when Kelly come around that corner, and she's like, hey, y'all, that's me. That's me all day. But, um, only color I probably will not use is this pink shadow. I'm going to be honest. I probably won't ever use that one. But the rest of them I'll use. I'll try, maybe I'll layer it and try to incorporate it somehow in a makeup look. But, um, I was trying to justify this purchase. I was like... This was $49. I mean, the other pals, I don't recall them being $49 when they came out. But since this is in demand, I was like, Kelly, do you have these shades? Forget about if it's in, in any other chocolate bar palette. Do you have these shades? I had to get all three palettes, line them up in front of me. I was in Sephora. The lady came by and she laughed at me. She said, you're trying to find a reason why to buy it, right? I said, I already made up my mind that I was going to buy it, but I need to know inside, is there a difference? And believe it or not, there is. There's a difference like this, but there's some shades in here that I know will look amazing on every skin tone. Every skin tone from the fairest of the fair to the deepest of the deep will look amazing. Zing, and I just want it, and I'm I and I'm I really feel like I'm going on about this palette. I'm just looking at it. I'm in days, y'all. I really feel like this palette is gonna turn into be like an everyday palette for me. I, I I can see it. I can just really, really see it. And this palette may break me out, and I may start not break me out like and get bumped, but break me out into get into using color. Cause you know, you guys know I'm a neutral girl all day. This palette may be my breakout palette. I think, I think, I think. But yeah. And you do you know they're coming out with another one another one of these palettes? It's gonna be sweet peach. And I'm a fool for like some orangey warm tone shadows. You know I'm gonna get it right. I may not get it when it comes out because you know something when as soon as it comes out, it's always sold out. But I will purchase it. I will. I know I will, and I'm gonna be happy about it. So my purchase and plus I'm VIB now so maybe I get a discount maybe I'll be a part of that 20% off sale that happens for my birthday and I'll be in the store buying some makeup so that is all I have I'll have some makeup tutorials coming soon nothing too crazy I do have another haul coming up a drugstore haul I did go to the drugstore and I had to get a makeup fix y'all I had to so I'll show it to you guys soon <laughs> so hey to all my new subscribers hey to all my loyals and thanks for hanging out with me and i'll catch you in my next video bye